views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. This show's audio was via a Skype call. Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit, and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. But before we get to those callers, welcome once again, everyone, to Angel Healing House Radio with myself, Claire Candy Huff, on this rather rainy day in Santa Monica, California, unusual for us in Southern California, as uh, it hardly ever rains here. So it's lovely. It's lovely to hear the rain. So firstly, I'd like to give a shout out, a big thank you to all who have shared how they felt about listening to my newly released audio book of my autobiography, I am an angelic walk-in, the autobiography of Angel Ariel, of myself. This listener reviewed the book on audible.com and she said, this book is absolutely wonderful and moving. I'd previously read the book and loved it. Listening to it in Candy's voice was really wonderful and it added another dimension to the book. It seemed as though you could really feel more into what was happening. It was memorable because of the lessons that came up over and over again for Claire Candy, her inability to honor herself and make positive changes felt like a punch in the guts at times, tears at others, and I just wanted to reach out and encourage her. Claire Candy's voice is fabulous. There's just an element about it that is smooth, calming, and nurturing in some way. Hearing the book really does make a difference, and I would recommend it. And that comes from Sue Broom in Arizona, in the USA. Now, to purchase and download this amazing adventure, please visit audible.com. <laughs> now, let's continue with March's theme, because... This is the second week of March, and we're going to be speaking more about manifestation, and today's topic is manifestation in 2018. 
Now, the posse of angels and I have been feeling the energies of the past few months as they are building towards bringing in powerful opportunities for rapid change in our lives. They wish to give us a heads up that with the opportunities and connections that will be showing up, it will be like we'll be experiencing a brand new incarnation with new perspectives and new attitudes on what is possible. The Posse of Angels is showing me the Wheel of Fortune card in the tarot deck because for those of us who have brought all areas of our lives into divine alignment and resolved all of our old triggers, this will free us to completely receive all the potential possibilities for the wheel of fortune now to turn in our favor. And the posse of angels is smiling because this big change will bring a time for making commitments to new projects and they wish to remind us that these will manifest because they are the result of all the seeds that we have planted. Our focused intentions and the energies of our that we have produced over the past nine plus years and many of us are now energetically clear enough to manifest and receive the fulfillment of our wishes it is a very exciting time for the conscious collective and if you are questioning how these changes will possibly occur well the posse of angels are reminding us that Everything is possible now because many of us have now embraced our divine, eternal nature, which is our multidimensional selves. In fact, what these energies are doing is placing many of us in the higher fifth dimensional energetic frequencies where there are simply no restrictions. This energy is mirroring what manifestation is like in heaven, across the veil, as all of our desires are simply a thought form away. You know, I've heard from so many clients that it does seem like all they have to do is to say something, and wham, it appears in their reality. For instance, after Debbie Reynolds passed away, I decided to watch the movie, Singing in the Rain. While I was watching it, a friend sent me a text and asked me what I was doing. And she added that she and her husband were honoring Debbie Reynolds by watching Singing in the Rain. Now, with this manifestation happening so quickly, it begs the question, if we can experience this very quick response to our thoughts and our actions, our words, a very quick response from the universe, why, when we ask for a million dollars, why doesn't it immediately show up at our feet in our reality? Well, things like the synchronistic singing in the rain connection happens because we do not have an attachment to whether it manifests or not. On the other hand, there's a very big energetic attachment to whether a million dollars shows up for us. You know, instead of putting our intention on the manifestation of simply money, one's wishes would be much better spent in visualizing and imagining, let's say, one's new home, one's new job opportunity, driving one's new car with that new car smell and that very, very new dust-free interior. One, one would be better off tasting the foods and hearing the languages um, and experiencing the cultures of places to which they can easily afford to travel. Let the universe worry about the energy of green stuff, or if you're in another country, uh, whatever color the money is there. That's the energy. Let them worry about that green or uh, green energy <laughs> and and you worry about the abundance that you feel inside. Though the abundance that you feel inside, the excitability, those things will bring 
those wishes and desires and attentions into reality. For, for don't worry about how it will happen and under what circumstance, because that's the providence and the business of God and the angels. It's certainly not ours. You know, listeners, anything is possible now because our powers of manifesting what we desire is absolutely limitless and it's boundless because of the gift that we've been given, which is abundance, is our nature. The only thing that would stop something from from manifesting is if we put a limitation on it. You know, any doubt, any worry or fear or any other lack or restriction on the manifestation of our desires, again, as to the how and the when it needs to happen, will constrict the energies to flow freely, unimpeded to us. So the Posse of Angels is sharing with us that manifestation comes down to a change in our attitude and our perception. In fact, the Posse of Angels are putting on their professor's caps and they're going to remind us how we used to manifest in third dimension, which when I had my angelic walk-in experience, which I write about in I Am an Angelic Walk-In, when I uh, first walked in to this body of the former soul of Claire Candy, um, uh, it was very much a third dimensional reality. But in third dimension, we would feel an urge in our heart, a desire to do something. Let's say to move to a new location that we loved or to switch careers or jobs to that which would support our passions and our gifts. But instead of making movement to the overwhelming, joyful feelings that we were experiencing, we would immediately think, oh, well, I don't have the money to do that. Or the rental places are so hard to come by and the market is far too competitive. Or we would destroy the joy in our heart by thinking, come on, be realistic. How am I ever going to make a living doing what I love doing, like writing or doing my art or playing music? Having had this conversation with ourselves, the, then we went back to living where we did not feel supported. We went back to doing jobs uh, which we, in which we didn't feel honored and respected. These sad feelings created a feeling of living a compromised life. And then these energies of compromise would go on to affect every other area of our life particularly in relationships that we drew to ourselves in which we also did not feel supported. Funny that we were not supporting ourselves and then what turns up in our reality is things that don't support us. Yet because the universe, God and the angels, are always conspiring to bring us the fulfillment of our heartfelt dreams, even if we're not making movement to them, we would have been sent signs on how to make our dreams a reality. By not resolving the past, we were not clear enough to observe life only in the present moment where those signs were presented to us. Often drowning in a sea of despair, disappointment, and sadness, we denied our heartfelt wishes we were not clear enough to live from an expansive, unlimited, divine, eternal nature that we all have that is not restricted by things like space, time, logic, or rational thinking. Now, did this make life difficult before? You bet it did. It made life a struggle. And sayings like, life was never meant to be easy, fit the third dimensional paradigm perfectly because it was we and the compromise choices that we made that made it hard as it went counter to living from our hearts. Now, fast forward to today, to March 2018. 
when much of humanity has shifted their emphasis off of scarcity and lack, putting their attention and energies on things like love, acceptance, forgiveness, kindness, peace, and unity. Many of us have chosen to see ourselves as part of one world, one grand collective. By doing so, we've expanded our vision of ourselves and have gone from being insular and disconnected to being open and wide-reaching. In this way, we've dropped the illusions and the dictates of restriction solely from our egos. These expansive, love-filled, compassionate energies have seen many of us opening to our hearts. And what has happened is that many of us have begun to experience the manifestations of our wishes. Our heart is where the alchemical co-creation of magic, miracles, and synchronicities have always, res always resided but they could not be accessed in the energies of third dimensional reality. And the posse of angels is among that the planet has seen a natural energetic divide between those who are living in a lower dimensional reality. We can see it being played out on the ludicrously manufactured and controlled media perpetuating things like the illusions of war, of separation, of fear and control, hatred, racism and judgment, as opposed to the expansiveness of those who have consciously chosen the well-being of humanity through their focus on unity, acceptance, love and inclusion, and those that are following their heart's desires in the higher dimensional reality. Now, in fact, a perfect example in the difference between third dimensional and fifth dimensional manifestation came because of a wish of both my husband Pete and my dream of living in Santa Monica, California. You know, everyone, a few years ago, we both felt a pull to live in this beautiful seaside city and when we tuned in, we both intuited that the move was on the horizon. In fact, for several months, I had been given the vision of French curtain doors looking out on a sun-drenched balcony. I kept tuning in to the posse of angels, asking them for signs, and all I got was silence. They might as well have shown me a gone fishing sign because they were un characteristically silent. As days slowly ticked by, I felt more and more stagnant in our current home. And then one night I thought, well, since I've not been given a sign, I'll contact a friend and ask her if she knows of a real estate agent that could help us find a place. My friend put me in contact with her friend, a real estate agent, and when I phoned her on that Thursday and told her where we desired to move, she shared with me the following information. She said that because of its popularity, most of the properties that were for rent in Santa Monica never make it to rental sites. She said, forget about that, as the market is driven mostly by word of mouth. She went on to say that there was very little on the market and that those places that do get multi-listed are hotly contested for by a very competitive market. And she said, well, they don't stay on the market for long. She said that since it was so popular that the homes tend to be much smaller for the same price that the rentals are in other areas. She advised us that before finding a place, we should fill out an application, of course not putting in the address, print out our credit report, print out several references and letters of introduction. Then, when we did find a place that we were interested in, to immediately put an application in which was all ready to go. 
She added that the properties in Santa Monica usually get many, many applications for each rental. Most of them could only be seen by, uh, by, it, by, um, by not um, individuals going to see a house, but by going to an open house. And, uh, and she said um, uh, that uh, she even suggested that we put in applications on multiple places as competition, she stressed again, was so great. And while she was speaking, I heard the posse of angels say to me loud and clear, this is her reality. This is not your reality. After she finished, I thanked her for her time and the information. Hanging up the phone, I remembered that the universe is constantly conspiring to bring us the fulfillment of our wishes. And if Pete and I were excited about moving to Santa Monica, that's all that mattered. Getting shivers and tingles of confirmation, I then felt an urge to go on Craigslist and just see what was available. Looking through the listings, I stopped and I gasped and froze in amazement as my eye was drawn to a photo of very cute curtained French doors looking out on a sunny balcony belonging to a townhouse in Santa Monica. The rooms looked very spacious, and it was nearly double the size of our current home. Although all the other listings had only contact email addresses, strangely, this one had a phone number, and it even had a name, Nicole. Early the following morning, I rang, and Nicole cheerfully answered the phone. When I expressed interest, she said, I'd love to show you the townhouse. This, would this evening be okay at 6.30? I was surprised that she did not tell us when the next open house would be held. The day after, Pete and I met Nicole at the property. The house was light, bright, spacious, and the balcony off the master bedroom and my office that I had seen in my vision was exactly the same. The next day, we arranged to drop off our application to Nicole, and a few hours later, she called and said that the townhouse was ours. We signed the lease with no competition, with no open houses, with no difficulties, only ease and grace. And the Posse of Angels wishes to remind us that one of the major things that makes fifth dimensional living so vastly different and easy from third dimensional reality is that there are no rules. There's no logic. There's no rational. Rational. There's no tried and true proven ways to follow. One actually might say that the recipe for manifestation now is take the excitability in your heart, couple that with your unwavering faith that has you joyfully and passionately taking inspired action while surrendering expectations and allow yourself to receive with no restrictions to the full fullness and fulfillment of your desires in whatever way the universe wishes to present it to you. Now, the greatest advice to the art of living in the fifth dimension is just allow yourselves to be who you are and to not compromise what you desire. Remember that the universe desires that, with, desires that which each and every one of us desires and that it doesn't place conditions on the how and the when of that happening. So... Two years ago, when I began to visualize my new home in Santa Monica, California, close to the beach, with a lovely sun-drenched balcony, I didn't restrict myself by worrying that this was a much-desired, sought-after area by many others. Nor did I allow myself to worry about dealing with the pressures of a very competitive market. I didn't do any of those. But what I did do was I imagined myself smiling, wearing a big beach hat, reading a book, and sipping an iced tea on my sun-drenched balcony. 
and while I visualized this, I felt the warmth of the sun on my face. I smelled the freshness of the sea breeze, and I allowed my heart to feel joy and to feel contentment and gratitude for my many blessings. And then I allowed the universe to deliver my home to me. And the rest is history. We've been here. Next month will be three years. And it's just been an unbelievable manifestation that's come true for both of us. So listeners, with that in mind, what will you visualize and feel into your reality in 2018? The uh, choices are absolutely limitless. So please do not limit yourself. You've been listening to me, Claire Candy Hoff on Angel Healing House Radio. Uh, just a heads up that the audiobook for my uh, hardcover book or paperback, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, is now available on audible.com. Uh, so go there. And, and just uh, this, is the, this is the sequel to One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, two number one Amazon best-selling books there. So... After this break, we are going to come back and take some calls for that free angel guide. Uh, If you want to call into the show, it's 1-800-930-2819. And we'll see you after the break. Take your own journey with the angels with Claire Candy Hoff's Heaven Sent Guided Angel Meditation CD. Letting go of concerns and living in the now. This beautiful CD walks listeners through practical exercises to help free them from the burdens, worries, and concerns of daily life. Walking a quarter of the way across the bridge, you see a bright emerald green light and sense a loving presence. This is Archangel Raphael's green healing energies nourishing and revitalizing you take a moment now to bathe in this green healing light giving you much more than just relaxation and stress release this wonderfully narrated cd provides vivid visualization soothing and inspiring music and an angel's choir that will bring you peace clarity and a newfound awareness visit angelhealinghouse.com today to see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. You're back with me, Claire Candy Hoff on Angel Healing House Radio. And this is a very important time as we are coming up to that midpoint in March. And uh, on this coming Saturday, besides it being um, St. Patrick's Day and happy, happy celebrations to all the Irish and everyone who feels Irish on that day, um, the 17th of March is supposed to be a an enormously powerful day for uh, healing and releasing. So you might be feeling the energies of that. You might be feeling a little bit emotional. You might be feeling teary and weepy. Uh, so, uh, so just take that to account. Be gentle with yourself as we go into that. And we are now in the pre-shadow of the Mercury retrograde coming up. And I'll be speaking about more about Mercury retrograde um, next uh, 20, uh, next week on the 20th. Um, and a lot of people 
they they get very angry <laughs> when there's a Mercury retrograde, but I bless Mercury retrograde because it gives us so many opportunities to rest and redo and reconsider and relook over uh, and re-edit those things that uh, uh, we need to look over. We need to take the time out and uh, our projects to stop a lot of those things. And it's a great opportunity to back up our uh, technology and to be more mindful about that. So I'll be speaking uh, more about that next week and to give us a little bit more information on where we are at the moment and and perhaps another message or two. um, I pulled a card from the Druid Animal Oracle deck, excuse it being back to front. Um, Last week we got the salmon and the salmon was all about respawning our lives and a rebirth. And uh, I wasn't surprised at all when this card came out. And the stag has majestically come into our life. And there's that beautiful, beautiful, majestic stag. Stag helps us to gain and maintain independence in our lives. And with so many of us stepping forward, um, into the fulfillment of our dreams as they manifest, um, it will take um, a great deal of independence for us to decide to step forward. With so many of us stepping forward, as I said, into our mastery this coming spring, of course, it's fall in the Southern Hemisphere, we may feel vulnerable. We may feel that we're under more scrutiny as we become more vocal and we are actually seen more. We are seen more, those of us stepping into our authority are seeing more as um, as authorities. Uh, and we are going to uh, be asked to take, I guess, more responsibility. STAG also helps us to purify, to let go of those things that need culling in our life. Um, in order for our new lives to be heralded in by attain by attuning, sorry, attuning ourselves to this wonderful stag energy, we ask for the protection of spirit as we faithfully step forward into our missions. It is auspicious that this card was drawn because it brings grace and integrity to our lives. It's all about blessings surrounding new beginnings and the stag is trumpeting, which many of us will experience in March and in the coming months. So thank you to the stag for breaking through the forest and coming in to herald those messages for us. Love those cards. They're beautiful cards. So without further ado, let's go to those callers into the show. If you would like a free reading with myself or perhaps uh, and the posse of angels, it's hard to distinguish us since we are part of the same angelic family, being Angel Ariel. Uh, You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819, and we would love to bring some messages to you. Let's go to our first caller. We have the lovely Stephanie in New York. Stephanie, you're on the line with Angel Healing House Radio and myself, Claire Candy Hoff. How are you today? Hi, thank you. Well, I feel so much better after just listening to you, by the way. I was feeling kind of tired and frustrated um, the last few days. And then as you were talking, especially I think because I've seen your beautiful home, and I remember uh, commenting to you about how large and spacious it was and how it seemed like you had so many closets and um, and just hearing your story about how that happened for you was it was very inspiring. So, Isn't that yeah. lovely? Thank you. Thank you so much. And it's um, each one of these stories, uh, I, I, I do believe I experienced so that I'm not just a talking head. Um, I went through that, you know, thinking to myself when she was saying it was a competitive market and and you have to only go to open houses. And I thought, this is her reality. This is not mine. I have a very different reality in which I manifest through my heart and there's only what I desire. So um, it's a it's it's a tale that uh, that shows that all one needs to do is to set forth your intentions, 
your desires and your wishes, and then allow, I love my quote, let go of the steering wheel of life so that God and the angels can drive us around to all the miracles. <laughs> I've never heard that thought, though. <laughs> So what's happening in your I'm life? Write that down. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm spreading really quickly what you said. Um, so I've been, uh, so I've been, you know, just frustrated. And I mean, I know you've you've talked about sort of a waiting period, but mm-hmm. you know, I see other people having all of these things, you know, like loving family and you know, just all this stuff, uh, you know, people, relationship type stuff in their life. And it's, it's, you know, been, and then they're complaining about like one thing to me. And like, I have, I wish that that was my only like thing I was longing for when they have all these things I do want. So it's, it's been challenging. And, um, even though, you know, I'm also aware that, you know, like my apartment, I really love and, and all of that. So, you know, I have good things in my life too. Um, although I do worry about the money and, and, you know, long term. Um, and I was listening to you earlier and I was wondering when you were talking about how things will get easier to manifest, uh, for people who've been clear and clearing themselves. And I was wondering if there was any advice about, you know, what else I can do or, or, you know, to sort of help make sure that I'm in that group of people so that things will get easier. <laughs> coming forward because I don't want to be left behind in that shift. Okay. There's a couple of things. First of all, let go of your expectation and attachment as to what should happen. That's probably the most important thing that constricts and restricts all of us. You know, uh, you know, when we, when we say, Oh, you know, something should have happened by now or, or, you know, it, I've done this. And so this should happen because we all know the laws of, of attraction. Now it's been hammered into us by every spiritual teacher or guru out there. Um, you know, yeah. uh, this cause and effect, but the universe doesn't work like that. And uh, yes, there are the laws of attraction, but it's often, because we are here as spiritual beings having a human experience, we're here primarily for our soul's growth. And, uh, you know, um, if you think it's getting much more difficult uh, to manifest, it will get much more difficult to manifest. So take, first of all, take your uh, emphasis or focus off of any expectation or attachment as to what should have happened now. Now, another really important thing that you said was that you see other people having an easier life or more money and they're still complaining. This has nothing to do with you. This is their journey and they've chosen, excuse me, they've chosen this journey. So what you can do What you can do is you can bless the other people. You can say, I bless you on your journey. I bless the choices and decisions they make. You know, they might have all the money in the world, but still they might complain. But that has nothing to do with us. So bless them on their journey and say, you're allowed to walk your journey. I'll be damned if I ever allow anybody to tell me how to walk my journey. So You go walk your journey and wherever they are, Stephanie, this is really important for many people who are triggered by other people. It's really important to understand that that they don't need to be saved. They don't need to be fixed. They don't need to be told, oh, you need to listen to this spiritual teacher or you need to do that or they don't need to do that. They're where they are perfectly for their spiritual growth. And, and how long they need to remain there, that's their doing. So what we can do is if it's triggering us, then we can bless them for exactly where they are. And then that opens space for us and it, it, it increases our vibrational frequency of tolerance and patience, acceptance, forgiveness, not being competitive and not being attached 
to what they do. So it opens up space in us to be free flowing and peaceful and calm and all of that. So those are really two of the most important things that we can do, not be competitive. And, be, and, and you know, we never really know what another person is going through. So I choose to give them the ben- I choose to give them the benefit of the doubt and to be to be even more kind and to be even uh, more um, compassionate and empathetic and all of that. So that just increases my vibrational uh, frequency and my level of uh, abundance inside of me. Um, yeah, um, don't don't put any of your en- ef- uh, uh, efforts are on that expectation. You know, um, I keep talking about, uh, I keep speaking about the, co- the conscious collective as we go into March um, and, and the, these spring months. The more we're open and the more we've set our intentions, all we have to do is allow ourselves to keep doing what we love doing and let the universe really do take care of the rest. They're really in the driver's seat because uh, because otherwise we really will restrict ourselves. Let's go to the cards and see what comes out. And I don't want you to restrict yourself. You've you've you 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 you've, you've come a long way. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the cards. Okay, first card that's coming out for you is the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is always a choice card. You can see the glass is half empty, or you can see the glass is half full. You can see uh, something as um, not happening, or the way I prefer to see it is if something that I have set my intention and wishes on is not happening, that just means the universe is always working on it because the universe always desires what I desire and they want to make sure it's presented to me in the most perfect gift wrapped package that they could (laughs) possibly, possibly give me, you know, they could just hand it to me and they could do that, but they want to make sure that the, they choose the right paper and the right timing and the right bow on it and they get a pretty card and presentation does matter and so they're saying that you that we all have choices here we can see that in any given moment if we bless what we have in this moment I have all that I will ever need in this moment if I am not ever given anything else then I will have I will have exceeded exceeded my human incarnation that I came back to experience. And by feeling this abundance in this very moment, that increases my abundance, and then that brings more things into my life. So this is a choice card. And in the channel today, um, what I spoke about is manifestation is really... um, all boils down to a change in our perceptions, a change in our attitudes. I will always be given what I need. I like the I like the Rolling Stones song. You may not always get what you want, but you'll get what you need. And for my soul's growth and my greatest experience. So that's the two of, of swords, which is the choice card. And then we have the Empress card. And the Empress card is all about creativity. It's about if we feel like we're waiting, every time that I have felt like I was waiting, I have said, good, I will go and create something. And while I'm creating, God and the angels, if it's time for me to step forward or to do something or for the manifestation of my dreams and my wishes and desires come, you knock on my door. But until then... I'm going to have an absolute uh, party and have fun and play while I'm creating, whether that's writing my books, whether that was creating um, my own tarot deck, um, whatever it was. I love 
the fact that I've been given a time out in many ways to create. So they're saying, stop think of stop thinking about it as waiting and create. And the next card that's coming out is the four of pentacles. And this is the card of um, holding on too tight and holding on too tight to the expectation and attachment as to what should, ought to, or has to happen. So I hope that's been helpful for you. They want me to peek under the deck, which they don't usually do. This is the 10 of Oh, this is, uh, yes, this is the Ten of Wands. And this is the Burden card. And the Burden card is thinking, thinking. The Burden comes from thinking that we don't have enough. We don't have the right thing. We don't have, and that's lack and scarcity. So put your emphasis on your blessings, on what you do have, not on what other people are doing, and you'll see that your cup really doth, does runneth over. So hopefully that's been helpful for you, Stephanie. Yeah, it is. Thank you. And it's ironic because I guess that's part of my frustration with like this particular friend who has the husband she wanted and the exact dog she wanted and all this great <laughs> family and friends and job. And her parents bought her an apartment on Central Park West like decades ago and <laughs> travels and you know, and she's complaining to me about stuff, and and I just keep being like, you have so many blessings in your life, and and so it's it's like taking, even though I don't have any of the things, it's like taking my own advice in a way. And did um, you did you ever? I'm sorry, you broke up. What? You met. I'm sorry, did you ever wonder why you manifested this person in your reality? They wouldn't be there unless you co-created them. You co-created co them to, to have more tolerance and to, and to bring this contrast to you so that you could practice not being affected by it. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, because she wants, like, sympathy and stuff from me, and she hasn't been very available to me, and I've got so many more challenges. <laughs> but, and then, <laughs> yeah, so that's, yeah, that's interesting. And also yeah, so, when you did the, I think it, I'm sorry, what? Uh, so I was, I was going to say, so practice, so practice that um, not being triggered by that. Okay, I will. Thank you. And then the first, I think it was in the, one of the first cards, was it? Where you were talking about the waiting or the gift, things coming oh, in the, a gift. Yeah. The, the, like the way that the, it comes is in the best way, which also is one of the things I've been trying to talk to her about, about her thing. Because um, yeah. all she has to do is wait. Something's already in motion. She's just like mad it's not already here, but it's definitely going to happen. And that's yes. like her biggest problem. But, and it's um, it's but, it's coming. It's and all of these are coming in divine timing. I've got to go now. Go to our next caller. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Oh yes, Take, I was just going to say about something really quickly and manifested. But okay. Okay. Thank you, thank you so much. Bye bye. Let's right. go to let's go to our next caller. We have Sue calling in from Arizona. Hi, Sue. How are you today? Hi, Miss Candy. How are you today? I'm great. <laughs> I'm so glad. Thank you so much for that beautiful review on audible.com. Oh, you are very welcome. It was awesome. I loved listening to it. And it was so funny because I there's a little lake I walk around. So I'd walk around it. And sometimes I'd have to walk one more time just so I could hear a little bit more of the book. <laughs> <laughs> so it got you to exercise more. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't that lovely? What's um, going I, on with you? It, well, I I just actually tuned in. I've been waiting for somebody to come over and get some boxes. So I wasn't able to tune in earlier. Um, and she's actually still not here. But I was just wondering if the angels had any messages for me, any, any general message, any guidance for um, what I need to know right now. <laughs> okay. Well, well, while I'm shuffling the cards, they're saying... 
there is something new on the horizon for you. You have, um, oh, I'm just getting shivers all over. Um, um, they're saying, be open, be open to receive this new, uh, it's like an, an opportunity, something that's going to tweak what you're doing. Um, and they're saying, uh, just be open to it. They don't want to give too much away, but they're saying it is the fulfillment of a desire of yours, and you are absolutely going to love it. Let's go to the cards and see what we have mm -hmm. here. Uh, let me see. One, two, three. Okay, got this lovely new deck of cards, animal tarot cards, and I love them. Uh, the first card that's coming out for you is the Seven of Spring, and it's saying... Be, a, be assertive, believe in yourself. Don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. Now, the seven could be showing us um, the seventh month. It could be showing us in seven days or in seven weeks. But certainly uh, the sevens are about not only patience, but what we've planted, the seeds that we've planted and that they are coming into fruition. So I'm not sure what this is, but it's definitely going to blossom forth in the springtime for you. Um, uh, they're showing this beautiful, beautiful little lizard in the in the middle of that uh, that card, and the the lizard is is dreaming your dreams into reality a lot of the times, and so um, go into that dream world and uh, and feel what that feels. I'm not sure what that looks like, but uh, but you'll know it as soon as it's presented to you. So that's coming up. We also do have the two. I love the lizards, too, and with warm weather, I've been seeing a lot more lizards out back. Oh, right. Okay. So this, we have a king of king of uh, cups, which is the king of summer, which is in this card. It's a beautiful card. Uh, this is with the penguin with the crown on his head and the little penguins, uh, baby penguins around him. And it's saying that this is going to be a person that's going to come into your life. Now, the kings, as you know, they could be men or, men or women. This is a trustworthy person or relationship enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks directly from the heart. Now, this is a person of authority. This is a person of authority perhaps to promote or support or encourage in some way your mastery. And if anybody out there knows Sue, Sue Broom, she is a master at what she does. She has her own wonderful show on International <laughs> Network of Angels. And, uh, and this is just beautiful. Mm. This is really beautiful because this person is going to open up doors for you, they're saying. And the next card that's coming in, well, I'm not surprised, is Little Raccoons. And this is the 20, number 20 card, which is the judgment card, which has nothing to do with judgment. But the raccoons, it's saying it's time to get clarity about a new purpose in your life. Changes are coming in for you. Forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's to come. So this really is the rebirth. It's like a new phase of your life is coming in and uh, just embrace it. And they said it might come with a little bit of fear, but if you're presented with it, Sue, then you can do it. Otherwise, you wouldn't be presented with it. And they're saying thank you for the radiance and thank you for the light that you share with others so fearlessly and, uh, and courageously. So that's your reading. Love that, Candy. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. You have and, and, the and they, wonderful energy coming. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, and they want me to have a squizzy. They want me to have a look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, my gosh. This is why they wanted oh, me to cool. look at the bottom of the deck. You got the chariot. And the chariot is about being recognized. The chariot is about um, rewards and promotion. Maybe it's about a new car. Who knows? It's certainly about movement and travel. <laughs> so there you go. Great way to finish oh, off. I love it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. I love you, Candy. I love you too, Sue. Sue, thank you. God bless you. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 
And that just about wraps the show up for today. Thank you, those callers that called in. Thank you to my many listeners. Thank you to those who have given me feedback about my new audio book for I Am an Angelic Walk-In on audible.com. And you can go on there and you can purchase and download a copy to listen to the book, um, even if you have read the book already. And, uh, and for uh, the books, you can go on my website, which is angelhealinghouse.com and my services. Um, and, uh, and remember this week to please go out fashion, an absolutely beautiful life for yourself, love and angel blessings. And I look so forward to speaking with you again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye. Mm-hmm.